In this video, we are going to see in the MFC application, how can we make a use of button control, how to take a button control, how to add an event handler, and we will see how on click on click of a button functionality, we can perform some activities. We'll use this application to see how button control was. These are the by default two buttons, which is here uh, is blessed. So starting from first, so this is a, what is the, the static text what we have here. So we'll change this property of the static text and we'll make some customized message here. So we'll see welcome magnificent text solutions. Okay. Now uh, let's say uh, now what we have to do is uh, we have to take some button controls from here. These are some toolboxes available. Button there is a drag drop facility. So once you drag the button, it automatically creates one ID for this button. If you see here, IDC underscore button one, and you can change the caption of this button one by clicking on this property. If it is like invisible or something, you just go here and uh, click on the properties. One more shortcut is available here. Just click on this button and press F four from the keyboard. So this button caption available, you can see here like something show button name is like show. And also if you want to change uh, the properties of a button or like IDC button is ID is created underscore show. So based on this, uh, we'll be able to understand which button is there. And if you, we create some background code for this button and then it is easy for identification to know this is the button what we have created and we are going to write a code for this uh, code so button control and if you right click again and if you see there are multiple options available here cut copy paste delete these are the common uh, we normally use in our various uh, windows applications and now if you see here i add event handler insert activist control add class too many things are available now we want to create uh, we want to generate a event handler for this one okay so what this event handler will do event handler will do whenever we take the action on this button control it creates a background one functionality to work let's click on this one so it is asking to add an event handler so we have to add event handler because we know this is our uh, this is this is our dialogue and it has a specific class has been created if you go and uh, click here the solution explorer so this is the mfc button control dot cpp mfc button control dot uh, mfc button control dialog so this mfc button control dialog cpp contains all dialog related functionality and this uh, this mfc control dialog header file header file is just for the declaration it, it, it many things and declare this class if you see the scope of this class all things on initial dialog on syscom and on paint all these are the default functionality which is already provided by this mfc application template okay now if you see this button control dialog it has been created one id inside this enums because there should be a specific id for each control so this is also one of the dialog control and this idd equals to this enum has been created for this one here so now in the dialogs uh, dialog uh, cpv file mfc button control dialog this cpv file if you see all things are uh, explained here and this on initial what should happen this is the function on sys command what should happen and on paint what should happen so this rectangle width height of all this uh, mm, the form or mfc application form the dialog which we created or this all the details has been shown here now what we have to do is we have to create we have to create one uh, event handler for this uh, handling this button control now go to go here and add event handler so once we clicked on it now as i have shown we have to create event handler inside a uh, this dialog uh, cpv file uh, so while selecting this class if you see this, mfc button control dialog so while selecting a class we have to select this dialog class if you by default go and click then it will not create event handler properly so it will create inside this uh, see about dialog so that will be not useful for us so we should be careful about uh, selecting a class here so we have to create this button uh, button event handler inside this c mfc button control dialog so this is the class which is created to handle to create to create it to handle all these controls from this dialog so click on this cmfc uh, select this one cmfc button control dialog what the name function name will it, it will create so on button clicked button one because this is this is the what we have in this idc button one and button one is id has been created and this show show is extra what we have added underscore show so this is the function name is going to create even we can change the function name 
but as we are seeing like uh, we are um, going to see the by default what it has been created and this is the function name it will create in the background in the background means in the class this cmfc button control dialog dot cpp in this file it will create it will create one function okay and this is a handler description and this is a message type what kind kind of event it is going to create in the background so click on okay once we clicked on it automatically opens the file where it has been created and if you see there are two star marks here also it is something star uh, dialog.cpp means this file has been changed and here also you can see here there is a star uh, or this dot h means these two files are recently changed and if you click on the single save if you even here there are two save buttons this is something which we created newly and you want to save if you click on this single save it will save just this file and if you click save all it will save all the change file now i if i click save all then this star will go off and this star will also go off yes so this is save so now what change has been uh, change changes happen uh, in the background code when we created this event handler this is this is the button but on click button click uh, show this event has been uh, got added here and another thing is change into the header file is uh, this is in the header file if you go here and you can see this public colon and fx message wide button click one show this is the declaration because in header file as i as i told you in the header file all the declaration will go if you see the scope of this class so this is a complete scope if you want to see the starting and ending scope of any curly bracket then you just click at the starting and control shift and a closing bracket so it will select it will select for us how many things are inside this uh, complete curly bracket okay so now this is the button clicked uh, button click event and if you want to go directly from here also you can go to the definition by clicking on it also there is there is a shortcut if you use oh, uh, she see here this is uh, uh, directly f by click on the f12 shell i just press i'll just press f12 so it will redirect me to this definition of this uh, button click event function okay so now uh, what is uh, saying like here in the commented bar to do what we want to perform activities on this button control now we'll just print one message uh, show button clicked how to do that so let's see so in the message box there is one um, ready-made functionality what we have is a definition of message box so in this message box what are the parameters required if you just uh, in the round bracket so this function message box window message box window or message box uh, is going to appear on the screen so now it's asking like what you want to print if you see carefully the parameters which are shown here lpcstr we want in short this is a long pointer character string what we have to give so how to give that so the format to show long pointer character string is that we have to uh, do it inside underscore t and round bracket so underscore t so t i'm showing here the message so underscore t round bracket and x means what the message we want to print so the message uh, show button click and after uh, adding this message at the last line we have to terminate this line of code okay so now what we'll do we'll go and we'll build this uh, mfc button control dialog the project which we created so it started building this pch file compile mfc button control dot cpp mfc button control dot cpp and yes this is will succeed now if you run if you run if you run then a title we have given this static text caption we have changed from properties and this uh, close button by default was added this okay and this also as a dialog based application is by default now what we have done we have added one button control event into this and we want to see whether this is working or no okay so until unless we are not going to click on it it's not going to happen anything okay it's just hovering the mouse over it so now click on this show button and this uh, message should be appear here show button clicked if you see here this is the message what we have given